Hi everyone, this is Hannah from Wonderful Woodlands and today we're gonna look at how to alternate knit and purl stitches in the same row. So right here I just have a cast on of 15 stitches. So far we've done knitting in a row and purling in a row and now we're gonna look at how to do those stitches side by side. So we're gonna do a one by one rib today which we'll cover more extensively in a later video um, but we're gonna alternate every other stitch. So we're gonna start with a knit stitch here and then when we wanna go for a purl stitch, we need to bring our yarn to the front. So we're gonna do what's called a yarn over, and then we'll go for a purl stitch. And then we're gonna to have to do another yarn over to bring the yarn back to the back for our next knit stitch. Super simple, very easy. Once you're comfortable with both knit and purl stitches, um, all you're gonna do is just bring that yarn back in front and back in front and back in front every time you do a stitch. And this is for when we're doing, this is called a one by one rib. So this is for when we're doing a knit stitch and then a purl stitch and then a knit stitch and then a purl stitch. In another video, we're gonna cover different patterns. Sometimes you'll do more than one knit or purl stitch to create a certain texture in your work. Um, but for today, we're just going one knit stitch yarn over, one purl stitch, and then yarn over, and then one knit stitch, and then a yarn over, and then one purl stitch, and then a yarn over, and then last one here, purl, yarn over, and knit. You can't see very well yet, but this starts to create ribbing when we do more rows of this. Like I said, we'll do a video where this is a longer piece here. But that is how to alternate knit and purl stitches in the same row.